Yo guys, what's up? It's Warspirit and today I want to show you some little previews of some of the final maps that are going to be in their full release of Crisis 3. Uh, these are taken from the Crisis 3 open beta. There's little preview windows in your customized equipment when you go to select a module where you can see some sneak previews of upcoming maps. This preview here actually shows a new game mode as well, sort of like the Domination in Call of Duty. Now everyone who's played the open beta and everyone who's played in the alpha will know this map here. This is Museum. It's a very grey map, um, very open pretty fun to play with any weapon combination and you guys can play that right now if you join the open beta for Crisis 3. Now, this is a new map which isn't actually in the open beta right now so not too sure what this is going to be like but there's like some sort of Chinese uh, gate structure here that you can see so maybe it's going to be located in some sort of Chinatown round about New York or in America somewhere. This is another new map which is not in the open beta, uh, sort of like a jungle city uh, almost Far Cry 3 like, with uh, except with massive buildings surrounding it. See the wonderful, very pretty waterfalls here. We've also got a splash of colour from the purple flowers there. Uh, so this again looks like a, a rather open map, except for like maybe if you go inside these buildings. Another new map, sort of like the one before. It could be the same map, obviously, because uh, we don't know how big this map could potentially be, but it does look very similar. Uh, maybe some similar mini-map features as well there, giving it away that it is the same map as the one I just showed you. Now here's a big reveal guys, uh, if you don't know what this map is and you played Crisis 2, start guessing because uh, this is Skyline and it's an overgrown version of Skyline from Crisis 2 and it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, you can see just how the glass houses have been sort of destroyed, uh, the place is covered in new bursts of grass and I don't know, just weeds everywhere and even the HMG is in the same position as it was in before. This map here appears to be in some sort of warehouse. Uh, it looks like it's based around close quarters combat. Shotgunners are going to have a hell of a time in here. You can see the, like, the big gas containers or something there. Also if you look outside the windows it sort of uh, resembles the dam level that they showed in the single player gameplay that they're always showing all the time. So that might be where, give you a good idea of where that map is located. Again this map here uh, similar to some of the single player footage that we've seen uh, in gameplay demos. This is definitely the dam. I'm pretty sure he just stood on the dam there and walked across it. So this level has to be located round about there. Um, this map here seems really massive. Like at the first look at this preview, it seems massively wide and open. Uh, we've got HMG up here in this little room and some sort of rusted platform overgrown here looking down on the map. Again, we're going to see another level from the single player. Crytek bringing all these single player levels to multiplayer. That's how they did it for Crisis 2, so why shouldn't they do it for Crisis 3, I guess? Uh, we can also see here that the cable will be returning to the multiplayer. Alright, this level here is pretty interesting. It's got a massive ship like crashed into the land, uh, into these buildings here. And you can also see like these sort of red flags here. Um, and also at the start here, jumping up there, you can see a Chinese sign. So again, it's like some sort of like Chinatown, a uh, map located in Chinatown, something like that. Uh, this final screenshot just shows you some of the game modifiers available in Crisis 3. We've got new recruits, which is probably for beginner players, level 1 to 10 maximum, which could potentially be for level 50s only. Selby's Rebel, which is probably just going to be humans on humans, no nano suits. Developer's Choice gives promise for custom maps and content creators. Nice one, Crytek. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out my other videos. See you later.